Hello YouTube, I have decided to make this short video to prove that I'm still alive and to thank you for the support in my last videos. I really appreciate it, especially now that I've received the golden level of subs as of uploading this video, so that's nice. I was at the Brain Drain uh, LAN party last month, which is a retro computer LAN party in Sweden. It was really nice to uh, come back there for the first time after Covid was there with my brother. He's the genius behind the Bunkeholio Mark software, which is an actual piece of software running on a separate computer. And even in uh, version 1 of uh, Bunkeholio Mark uh, is the operating system itself uh, a part of the program, the software that he, uh, he do. Uh, obviously, obviously uh, the crisis scene uh, from the Voodoo 5 9000 video was not uh, live rendered. Uh, it's just a video file played inside the program that he made. And same goes for the last part of the Intel XE video when cutting to the real life uh, pre-recorded scene uh, inside the benchmark. I guess uh, none of us really can do fancy uh, video effects or CGI. So when it comes to pretty much everything, do we have to make it in real life? Uh, even when it means uh, burning the cards you have spent the last many months creating, uh, or use wires, lasers, uh, blowers and smoke machines, uh, which of course only is possible with some really great friends uh, who not only help with recording the video, but also assembling some of the hardware which sometimes uh, require that you have absolutely no life whatsoever. But of course, uh, very satisfying when you are done and everything just works. The hardest part uh, for me is though being on camera. The stupid introduction in the start of uh, each video usually takes way more time uh, than the entire last of the recording. Um, since I have a hard time speaking and uh, thinking while being filmed, uh, the last Intel XE intro took seriously two days for me to get a good shot, where the rest of the video just was recorded within a couple of hours, uh, of course again with the help of my friends. So I guess you never really get good at it, uh, being in front of a camera when uh, you do it uh, once every couple of years. Uh, Currently, uh, I'm doing a small Frankenstein project with another retro computer enthusiast where we make a, a special fan housing, uh, I guess you could say it is, uh, for the old borrowing uh, 8800 uh, GX cards to make it look more like an 8800 uh, GX2, uh, a, a dual uh, GPU version with some uh, ultra uh, design to it. Would uh, have loved to show you uh, it, it in physical form, but my 3D printers have been busy uh, printing some gift uh, for a friend, so we'll probably post it on my Facebook uh, page when it's done. Have been playing with ideas uh, for new videos. It's too soon to make a RTX 6090, which I'm obviously uh, going to make. Just haven't uh, come up with any good new ideas uh, for any new jokes to make in the meantime. Uh, feel like the pretty much the entire industry uh, is being one big joke at the moment and I would just have to do something extremely ridiculous uh, to just to stand out uh, so uh, I, I, I will really appreciate uh, any comments with ideas not only for what to make uh, but also stuff that can happen at uh, doing a video already noted a few good ones um, for example macro who suggested that the wind from the blowers of the GPU uh, being so powerful that it affects the content uh, and icons and stuff on the monitor. And uh, Tankos from uh, Pixel Talk uh, suggesting that the uh, hardware becomes so hot uh, that even the fire catches on fire. So uh, yeah, in general, really uh, enjoy reading your comments. Uh, there's some really funny ones and uh, I will end this video just by saying thank you uh, for standing by and of course have a really nice day.